guys and welcome back to my youtube channel so for the next couple of videos i thought i would do kind of like a prom series well it's only like two parts um so i'm going to be showing you guys how you can achieve the perfect prom like updo ponytail hairstyle so i'm going to show you guys how you can achieve this hairstyle and this makeup look honestly i wish i could have just put it into one tutorial but it was so long and I was like, ain't nobody got like 30 minutes to sit here and watch me do hair and makeup. So I decided I would break it up into two parts. So this week I'm going to be showing you guys how you can achieve this makeup look. And next week is going to be the hairstyle tutorial. So for this makeup look, I am by no means a makeup artist. I am not good at makeup. I'm no makeup guru. I have no idea what I'm doing half of the times. Majority of the products used are either from drugstore or from Sephora. And a lot of my brushes are drugstore brushes because I have no idea what is what. But um, honestly, YouTube has made makeup like so much easier. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like every tip and trick that I have used in this tutorial, I learned from somebody on YouTube. So it's such a great platform to have where you can just learn various things from other people. So I just decided I would show you guys the tips and techniques that I learned and my little spin on it. So this is the top that I would pair with this eye look. If you guys would like a link to this shirt, then I will put that down in the description box. So yeah, let's just jump into this tutorial because I keep rambling and I'm not sure why I'm rambling, but I'm rambling. So let's get into this tutorial so you guys can learn how to achieve this look. Okay. Okay, so to start this makeup look off, you always want to prime your skin. So I am priming with the Hangover RX Primer by Too Faced. And then I'm also going to prime my eyelids with the Naked Concealer, just to kind of prep my skin for the makeup that we're going to be wearing. This will also help to ensure that your makeup lasts all night long. So, prime always. And then I'm going to add some tape just underneath my eyes in an angle shape, kind of following my natural lash line up towards my eyebrow. And this is going to help give you a more defined look and also help you um, make sure that there's no fallout from your eyeshadow that goes all over your face. So for the first color, I'm going to be using the Tartlet Palette and then I'm going to be going in with the color Free Spirit just all over the lid. And then in the crease with my blending brush, I'm going to be using the shade Wanderer kind of as a transition shade. This Tartlet Palette is like amazing. There's about eight colors in it and honestly, like you can't go wrong with any of the shades that Tarte puts in this palette. So for the crease, which I'm doing right now, I'm gonna go in with the shade Dreamer and I'm using a um, crease a tapered crease brush I think that's what it's called again it's a drugstore brush I have no idea where it's from but um, I'm just gonna use this and I'm gonna kind of dust that in the V shape where the tape meets my eyelid and then in the crease to kind of give it more of a defined look and then I'm gonna go back in with my blending brush and blend that all out now these two brushes are the two brushes that I used for this eye look well the majority of the look because you always want to blend out whatever color you put in the crease just to make it look more natural and then to add more color into a specific area, you're going to use the tapered crease brush because that's going to help you be more precise with where you're placing your eyeshadow. So I'm just going back and forth with the shade Wanderer and Dreamer in my crease. And if you want to deepen it up, you can always go in with the shade Multitasker or Bombshell. They're both really, really dark, um, warm brown colors depending on how dark you would like your look to be. I kind of went with more of like a neutral dark. I didn't want to go too dark because the top that I'm wearing, the sequins top that I got, um, is very like bright and silvery. So I wanted to stay away from going too dark and kind of keep it in like that neutral transition phase, I guess you could say. And then for all over my eyelid in the center, I went in with an eyeshadow from Sephora. It's called Tea Rose and it's like a shimmery, pinky silvery color so I kind of went in with that color first and then I'm going to go back in with the shade blonde streak pressed pigment from MAC and I'm going to use a flat shader brush sprayed with a little bit of MAC fix plus and I'm going to kind of pack that pressed pigment over my eyelid just to kind of add a little bit more shimmer this kind of brightens up the look it gives it a little bit more of a sparkly diva I don't even know what I'm talking about. It's, it gives you more of a sparkly, shimmery kind of look, and I just love sparkles. So, yeah, that's what I did. And then I'm going to go back in with Wanderer again, and I'm just going to blend those two colors out with my crease and peel the tape off. 
add my eyeliner and then jump right into my face. I'm sorry if this is going way too fast, but it's pretty basic. I'm not much of a makeup guru, so I didn't want to go too into detail on what I was doing because I honestly have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just kind of going with the flow here. So for my face, it's the same routine I did with my Get Ready With Me video. If you guys haven't seen that, then I will link it down below so you can check it out. I also list all the products that I use for my face, my eyeshadow, everything that I use in this tutorial. I will link it down below for you guys so you can check that all out. But yeah, so I added my foundation, used my concealer to highlight underneath my eyes, set my concealer with the setting powder, and now I'm going in with my contour from Anastasia Beverly Hills in the shade Fawn, and just kind of carving up them cheekbones because Lord knows I love cheekbones also, so. <laughs> And then I'm gonna carve out that uh, double chin and jawline just to, you know, give my face a little bit more structure. And then add some color to my forehead to kind of bronze up the look because I am looking pale, girl. And then to contour my nose, I'm using a flat angle shader brush. Or I can't remember what this brush is called. I think it's like a flat angled foundation brush, but I use it to contour my nose just because it's the perfect shape, size, angle, and everything for my nose. So I'm going to go in and contour my nose. And then once done, I'm going to add some blush. And I think this blush is the uh, Luminoso shade by Milani. And then I'm going to go in with my Becca highlighter because Lord knows I love my Becca highlighter. And I'm going to go in and I'm going to highlight my cheekbones, the bridge of my nose, a little bit on the forehead. And yeah, just kind of make me look glowing because you want to glow in all your photos for prom. Always. You want to glow like J-Lo, girl. And then I'm going to add some mascara to my lashes and I'm using the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. I have no idea why I cannot stray from this mascara. I've been using this mascara for about 10 years now and every time I try something new, I always go back to it. Like, I'm just obsessed with that mascara. And for my eyebrows, I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Um, eyebrow kit, I think it's called, in medium brown or dark brown. And like in my Get Ready With Me video, I don't do anything crazy with my brows. I have no idea how to draw brows, so I just kind of fill in the natural shape of my brows just to make them look a little bit fuller because my brows are a little bit thin. I find the hairs are a little sparse. So you just do your brows however you feel fit or however you like them. If you struggle with brows, I know that Sephora or maybe even drugstores sell like eyebrow stencils where you just kind of hold it over your eyebrow where you really like the shape of your eyebrow and then you can just fill it in. It makes life so much easier. Then I'm going to align the waterline or tightline the bottom of my eyes and blend that out with a flat shader brush or flat angled brush. I have no idea what this brush is called. It's just another drugstore brush. So <laughs> I'm gonna call it a flat brush. And then I'm gonna go in with the shade Dreamer and I'm just gonna kinda buff that into the lash, the bottom lash line, just to kinda smoke it out a bit and you know, continue that, you know, cat eye, smoky eye effect that I created on top. <laughs> And then once you've reached your desired smokiness, I'm then gonna go back in and add some mascara to the bottom lashes. And then you want to always, always, always when you're done, set your makeup with a setting spray. By setting your makeup with a setting spray is the best way to ensure that your makeup lasts you all night long. And that is it. Here is the final look. I'm sorry if it was too fast for you guys. Let me know if it was too fast for you guys or if you'd like me to slow it down. When I was done editing this video, it was like 40 minutes long, so I was like, okay, this is not gonna work, so I gotta speed this up somehow. So if this is too fast for you guys, let me know so that in the future I can slow it down a bit, because I'd love to hear your feedback, and I would love to make sure that my videos are bomb for you guys, so let me know in the comments below. And that's it. 
And there you have it, guys. A very quick and simple smoky eye makeup look. Perfect for prom or any special event, girls night, wedding, gala, anything that you guys are going to actually you could probably pair this look with. Um, hell, if you wanted to wear it going to the grocery store, you probably could. If, you, you, if you're like that, then, you know, do you, girl? Do you. Because Lord knows I can't ever do this. But, um... Yeah, so it's very simple. It wasn't very hard, and honestly, it didn't really take me long to learn. Once you get the technique down, you're pretty much set for any makeup look that you want to achieve. So, yeah, that's it. Um, if you guys liked this look, then let me know down in the comments below because I would love to hear from you. And if you are going to prom this year, then let me know what you are most excited for. Or if you've already been to prom, or let me know something about your prom down in the comments below. If you've already been to your prom, or if your prom was many moons ago, or if your prom is coming up, let me know what you were excited about, what you loved about your prom, because I'd love to hear your stories. Tell me a funny story about your prom, because I want to hear about it, okay? And I will see you guys in next week's tutorial for this hairstyle. <laughs> Bye! What are you doing, so? Where are you going? Where are you going? Can you come say hi? Can you come say hi? No? Don't care? Okay.